In this time I will show you how to crochet beautiful heart motif in brush lace technique. For work you need two balls of yarn and a crochet hook. Let's get started crocheting. Make a chain of 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 7 chains of them are for the chain space and other 4 are for the double crochet stitches. I will work with these stitches 1, 2, 3, 4. Make 4 double crochet in a row. I will begin from the 4th stitch from the beginning. One, two, three, four. First row is made. Let's begin the next one. Chain of seven for the chain space. Turn the work, 4 double crochet in a row, row 2 is made, chain of 7, Four double crochet in a row. One, two, three, and four. Here, what we have? I begin the lace tip. This is the first side. This is the inside, this is the second side, here we have two chain spaces. You should continue by yourself till you will get 12 chain spaces on this side and on this side you will get 11 chain spaces. I have done the lace tape as many times as I need it. The first side has 11 chain spaces. The second side has 12 chain spaces. Now I will show you how to make a turn. For this I will be using the complex stitch. Let's make the turn. Chain 3. Chain more. Make double crochet into the next chain space. I do not finish this stitch like this. Then treble crochet, not finish into the next chain space. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice. We have three loops on the hook. Continue double treble crochet stitch. D not finish into the next chain space. 
Insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops three times, one, two, and three. We have four loops on the hook. Then triple treble crochet stitch, not finish into the next chain space. Insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops four times. Yarn over five times and make quadruple treble crochet stitch, not finish into the next chain space. Insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, five times, one, two, three, four, and five. Make quadruple treble crochet stitch into the next chain space. I do not finish this stitch. Then four chain space, yarn over four times and make triple treble crochet stitch into the next chain space. I do not finish this stitch. Make double treble crochet stitch not finish into the next chain space. Yarn over twice. Insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice. Then yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. I do not finish the stitch and we have the last chain space. I insert the hook into the chain space, pull up a loop. I have 12 loops on the hook. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Everything correct. Now to complete the turn, for this yarn over the hook pull through two loops like this, then yarn over, pull through two loops, then yarn over, pull through two loops. In total it should be 11 times, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The turn is ready. We have just done the turn. Then I'm going to crochet the lace tape for this chain of three, turn the work and four double crochet for the lace tape. Seven chains for the chain space. Turn the work and four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Let's stop and look what we have done. Let's look at turn. This is the part of the heart motif. 
It is front side and let's take a look at the back side. After we have done the turn, I will continue crocheting the lace tape that consists of four double crochet stitches and seven chain spaces. Each side will have 11 chain spaces. I begin the work. You should crochet by yourself. I have done the lace tape. Each side has 11 chain spaces. I remind you, it should be 11 chain spaces from the turn. And now I show you how to make the turn as we did in the previous time. I will turn to other side. I will work on this side of the lace tape. I remind you, I did 11 chain spaces of the, this turn. I made four double crochet. I made four double crochet. And let's make a turn. Now chain of three, chain more. Yarn over the hook and I'm crocheting the complex stitch. Insert the hook into the chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. I do not finish this stitch, then yarn over twice, insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice. Then yarn over the hook three times, insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops three times. Yarn over four times, insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops four times. Continue. Yarn over five times, insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops five times. Then yarn over five times, insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops five times. Yarn over four times. Insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops four times. Then yarn over the hook three times. Insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops three times. Then yarn over twice. Insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice. Then yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. And now we have the last chain space on this side. Insert the hook into the, this chain space. Take the working yarn puller through. We have 12 loops on the hook. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Everything correct. Then yarn over, pull through two loops 11 times. Let's count 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, and 11. Continue chain of 3. Make double crochet 4 times in a row. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's stop and look at the work. The second turn is ready. Here how heart motif looks like at this point. I'm going to crochet the lace tape in brush lace. I remind you each side has 11 chain spaces. I have done 11 stitches on each side. Now I show you how to make the turn. I will make a turn in backwards direction. This is the last turn. And now I will make a turn in this direction. I did four double crochet and now I will use 11 chain spaces on this side. I have done the third turn of the motif. After that I made one row of the lace tape. I did seven chain space and four double crochet in a row. Now I will join on this side. For this I will use this chain space. Next time I will work with chain spaces on the opposite side. Let's begin the joining. For this chain of three then double treble crochet stitch insert the hook into the chain space on the opposite side it is the first chain stitch from the turn the double treble crochet stitch is ready, chain of three, turn the work and four double crochet in a row. One, two, three, and four, chain of seven. Continue turn the work and make four double crochet in a row. One, two, three, and four. Chain of three, and let's make the joining. Make treble crochet into the next chain space. This is the double treble crochet stitch. Now I will work with this chain space. Make treble crochet stitch into this chain space. The joining is ready. Continue chain of three. Turn the work and four double crochet in a row. Chain of seven. 
turn the work and four double crochet. Chain of three. Work with next chain space. Make double crochet into the next chain space on the opposite side. Chain of three, turn the work and make four double crochet in a row. Chain of seven, turn the work and four double crochet for the lace tip. Chain of three and let's stop and look at work. We have just done joining in three points. The first one was double treble crochet stitch. The second one was treble crochet stitch and the third one was double crochet. Now I will work with this chain space. I'm going to make double crochet into this chain space. Double crochet twice into this chain space and double crochet into the, this chain space. Continue the work. I did three chains. I will work with this chain space. Make double crochet into this chain space. Like this. Chain of three. Yarn over the hook. Turn the work and double crochet four times in a row. Chain of seven. Turn the work and four double crochet. One. Two. Three. And four. Chain of three. Make double crochet twice into this chain space. Make the first one. Chain of three. Turn the work for double crochet. Chain of seven, turn the work for double crochet in a row. Chain of three and double crochet into the same chain space. I have done double crochet twice. Now chain three for the chain space. Turn the work and four double crochet. Chain of seven. Turn the work for double crochet in a row. Turn 
3 chains and double crochet into the next chain space. As you can see, I have done double crochet twice into this chain space. Now I will work with this one. Make double crochet to this chain space. Chain 3, turn the work and 4 double crochet in a row. Chain of 7, turn the work and 4 double crochet. Chain of three, I will work with next chain space, make double treble crochet stitch into the next chain space. Chain of three, four double crochet in a row. Let's look what we have. Here how the joint looks like. I will use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 chain spaces. The sixth one is the middle. Then I will work with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 chain spaces. Then I'm going to crochet lace tape. Each side has three chain spaces. Then I will show you what we will do next. This side has two chain spaces and I do not complete the third one. For this I did three chains. Then insert the hook into the previous chain space, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop. We have three loops on the hook, then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. The turn is ready. Chain of three. Turn the work and four double crochet in a row. One, two, three, and four. Chain of seven for the chain space. Turn the work. Make four double crochet in a row. Chain of three and double treble crochet stitch into the same chain space that we did the previous stitch. It is the sixth chain space. Chain of three and four double crochet in a row. Chain of seven, turn the work, four double crochet in a row.
let's stop here after i have done double treble crochet stitch into the middle chain space i did three chain spaces on the first side and two chain spaces on the second side now i will work with torn I use these two chain spaces. The turn is ready. And I did double treble crochet stitch into the chain space. It was the middle chain space. I have done seven chain space on the one side. And we need to crochet five joinings you should crochet side joining in the same way as we did on this side firstly we will make double crochet into this chain space then double crochet twice into this next chain space and so on as we did on this side the heart is almost ready this is the first part of the heart. I have done the last joining. Then I did three chains for the chain space. Then four double crochet. And now we need to sew two pieces together. The first part of the heart is ready. It is the front side of the heart. And it is back. In the second part, we'll continue the work. Thanks for watching.